plus 2x. Yani, which means you will transfer negative 2x to the opposite side, right? Yes. Okay, so it will be 5x. Once we will we will transfer negative 2x to the opposite side, it will be positive 2x. And this is equal what? And this is equal 4. Now we have 4 equal 7x. What is the next step? Over 7. Over 7. And over 7. So the answer by the end we have x equal 4 over 7. Okay, so the solution set or the value of x, it will be x equal 4 over 7. Is there any way to check our answer, grade 8? We'll put 4 over 7 instead of x. Yes, very good. So we will back to the original question. Okay, so we can make check. Could you please check and tell me the answer? Hmm. We will put exactly the same question, negative outside, and then we will open a parenthesis and we put two, and then instead of X, you are going to put the fraction, which is four over seven, and then minus four. What is the answer? What is the answer for the left side grade eight? Grade eight? Hmm. Negative two multiply four over seven minus four. Hmm. Could you please calculate it and tell me the answer? Uh, 20 over seven. Positive or negative? Yeah, positive. 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 Uh, Check the, the, right, the right side. It will be five time Hmm. Four over seven. seven, right? So the answer it will be how many? It will 20 be over seven. twenty over seven. Twenty over seven. Where right side also it will be twenty over seven, which means the both two sides are the same, which means we have the right answer. Okay. Any questions so far? Any question? No. No. Thank you. Uh, miss. Yes. Miss. Yes. Uh, miss, um, when it has five, uh, uh, for example, um, not this question, so, right? no, something oh, else. Okay. Um, Let me erase this one and I will write your question. Okay. Hmm. Okay, go on, tell me your question. Uh, there was a question in the homework, it says five minus which page? Which page? And, no, in the sheet one. Okay, tell me the question, please. Uh, five minus five minus uh, uh between brackets eight v eight v yes okay uh plus five plus five equal equal a negative four negative four uh, between brackets one plus three v one plus three v. Uh, miss, do we uh, in uh, five minus a v, v? Do we distribute by making minus or multiply also? No, minus because already here you have five minus, right? Then you are going to distribute the negative sign over the parentheses. Okay, then five it will be the same. Five, okay. it will be the same. And then you will distribute negative over the parentheses. It will be negative 8v, okay? And then negative time 5, it will be negative 5. This is for the left side. The right side, it will be negative 4 because you will multiply negative 4 times 1. And then negative, negative 4 times 3, it will be negative 12v, okay? Then you will start to combine the like term. In the left side, you have five and minus five. You will cancel them together. Do you not? Uh, five minus five? Yes. Then the rest, it will be negative eight B. 
The right side, we have negative 4 minus 12V. Then we will start to combine the like term. Then negative 8V, we will transfer negative 12. It will be positive 12V. This is equal negative 4. Then negative 8 plus 12, it will be how many? It will be 4v equal negative 4. We will divide by how many grade 8? We will divide by? Four. 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 Divide by, four. Then, by, by negative 4. Yes, by negative 4. Then v equal negative okay. 1. Okay? We want to do what now? Huh? Sure. We want sure. to do this. Okay? Then we will back to the original question. You have five minus, open a parentheses, eight multiply by what? By negative, negative one, one plus negative five. One. Could you please calculate the, right, the left side? Calculate the left side and tell me the answer. Hmm. One plus three times negative one. The right side will be negative 35. The right side, it will be negative 35. And what about the left side? The left side, it's 8 times negative 1 equal negative 8. Negative 8. I think it's not negative 35. So uh, both sides would be at 8. 8, yes. Because yeah. 8 times negative 1, we will calculate the parentheses first. So 8 times negative 1, it will be negative 8. Negative 8 plus 5, it will be negative 3, right? And 5 minus negative 3, it will be equal 8. So the left side, it will be equal 8. The right side, you have 1 plus negative 3, it will be negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 4, it will be positive 8. Then both sides equal positive eight. Any questions so far, grade uh, uh, eight? Any no, questions? Okay. So we will move now to page uh, 213. We will uh, discuss together questions in page 213. So please open your book in front of you. And I want someone to read question number one, please. Yes, Sahar. Yes, honey. Uh, Lucy Norman has internet problems and she cannot enter. Lucy Norman? Yes. Okay. So please uh, now open your book, page 213. Page 213. I want someone to read the first question, please. Hmm. Question number one. Martina? Hmm. Question number one, yes, Hannah. Um, Ma Martina is currently 14 years older than her cousin, Joey. In five years, she will be three times as old as Joey. Use this information to answer the following questions. Mm. If you let X represent Joey's current age, what expression can you use to represent Mar Martina's current age? Okay, then, is there anyone can answer this question? Anyone can answer this question? Uh, hmm. uh, we will make yes. it uh, mm -hmm. x plus 14. We will make it x plus 14. Yes, Yuri. Then in this question, he said at the beginning that Martina is currently 14 years old, older than her cousin, Joy. In five years, she will be three times as older as Joy, using the information to answer the following question. If you will let X represent Joy's current age, they said that Martinez is older than Joy by how many years? Yes, Nano? 14. By 14. By 14. Then the answer for question number A, it will be what again? 
It will be what? X plus 14. X plus 14, yes. So uh, this question is in your book, page 213. Question number 13. Okay? So book page uh, 213, question number 13. Then the answer for A. The answer for A, it will be x plus 14. Okay, let's answer question number B. Question number B, how we can solve it? Hmm. Based on your answer to part A, when expression represents Joy's age in five years? Hmm. Joy's in five years will be 37. No, he won't in uh, after five years. So Joy, his age will be how many? And Martina's age, it will be how many? Miss Joy will be five and uh, Martina will be 14. So we'll make plus. No, let's say that Joy, okay, Joy. will be, his age will increase how many? Oh, we don't know his age, oh. I'm an expert. Okay, we don't know his age. For this reason, we said what? We said X. So his age will increase by five. Then it will be X plus five, right? And we said Martinez was X plus? 14. 14. No, 14. And we will add? Five, so it will be 19. Yes. So it will be, then Martina's age, it will be? 19. Will be X plus 19. Okay, so Joy's age, it will be? Joy age, it will be X plus five, and uh, Martina, she will be she will be X plus 14, plus five, then it will be X plus 90. So this is the age which we are looking for. This is the answer for question number what? Number what? Number B. How we can solve question number C? Hmm. Question number see uh, Rashwan take care please Rashwan okay <coughs> he said what he said what equation can you write based on information given he said after three uh, after five years what is the relation between Joy's age and Martina's age Back to the question again. He said, Martin is currently is uh, uh, is currently fourteen years older than her cousin Joy. So we said that at the beginning that Joy was X. Okay, Joy was X, and Martinez is older than him by fourteen years. For this reason, we said Martinez X plus fourteen and Joy was X. After five years. Joy, his uh, age will be uh, increased by five years. For this reason, we said X plus five. Martinez was X plus 14. And then we will add more five years. It will be X plus 19. He said after five years, what's happened? In five years, she will be three times as older as Joe. Then Martina, after three years, she will be three times more than Joy. Then who can tell me the equation? Who can tell me the equation? How we are going to uh, represent the equation? Yes, Judy. Um, uh, and you we're gonna do three x. It's not three x. Should... It's not three x. We said that Martina's age, she will be three times. 
like Joe. So three times means what? Three multiply. Three multiply, yes. So we are going to write three and then multiply by Joe's age. And they are X, X plus uh, five. five. This one, it will be equal X plus 14. 19. 19. X plus 19. Okay? So what is the Joe's current age and what is the Martina's current age, which means we have to uh, answer the equation. Okay? Then we can add the, at the beginning here that we said that Joy, Joe will be X and Martina. will be x plus 14, okay? And then we will start to, we add the answers for question number A, B, and C. Number D, we have to solve the equation. Number D is looking for answer the equation. How we are going to solve the equation? We will, huh? we will, uh, this is Yes, we would distribute uh, L x over L3 over the parentheses. So it would be what grade A? It will be 3x. 3x plus 15. Plus 15 equal x plus what? Plus 19. And 19. then solve. It will be 3x minus x equal 19 minus 15. Then 2x equal how many? Four. And then Four. x equal what? Then x equal two. Then uh, Joel, uh, what is the age for Joe? Two years. Mm. Two years. Yes. Then Joy, two years, and Martina, 14. Martina, she 14. will be like 16. Uh, sorry, right? I thought the start. Mart uh, Martina, she will be 16 years. Right? Then uh, in this question, again, when we want to solve the equation, so we have to put a variable at the beginning. So this question, he said at the beginning that Martina is currently 14 years old, older than her cousin's Joy. Sorry, his name is Joy. Joy or Joe. <laughs> then we will say at the beginning that joy equal x. Martina was 14 more than his age. So we don't know already uh, Joe age. So we said that it's x. And then Martina, she's older than him by 14. So we will say x plus 14. They said after five years, then joy's age will increase by five. For this reason, we said what? We said x plus five. Martina's age will mm -hmm. increase by five, then x plus 14 plus five. They said after five years, Martina's, uh, sorry, um, yes, Martina's age, she will be three times joy age. For this reason, we multiply by three times x plus five, which is uh, represent joy age equal Martina's age, and then we solve the equation. We found the age for both of them. Understood this question, my dear students? Yes. Okay. Please, it's your turn now. Try to solve question number 14. I'm waiting for your answer. Question number 14. The same page, 213. Question number 14. If you are ready, please raise your hand. Then half 4x plus 6 and third times 9x minus 24. So the LCM here is 6. Okay, then we can multiply the both two equations by how many? 
by 6. Then it will be 6 multiplied by half. Okay, and then we have the same 4x plus 6. And then the opposite side, we have what? 6 multiply third. Why we have to multiply by 6 grade uh, 8? Why we have to multiply by 6? 9x minus 24. The common number between m and 20? Yes, why? Why we have to multiply by this number? To remove what? The fraction. Yes, to remove the fraction. Exactly, thank you. Then it will be six times half. Now, six times half equal how many? Six times half equal three. And six times third, it will be equal two. And then we have nine x minus 24. Now, once we multiply by the LCM, which is six, the number which can be visible by two and three, then we cancel the fraction. And now it becomes integer numbers and it's uh, more easier to deal with integer numbers than three times four, it will be equal 12 X plus three times eight, it will be equal how many? 18 and then two times nine, nine, 18 X minus, 48. What is the next step, grade 8? Hmm? What is the um, next step? 12x uh, minus, minus. Yes, you can transfer 18 to the opposite side. It will be negative 18. Or you can keep the integer in your left hand because 12 is uh, less than 18. So you can transfer it to the right side. Then 18 plus 48 equal. 18x minus 12x. Huh. 18 plus 48, it will be hmm. 60. Uh, it will be uh, plus, uh, sorry. It will be 66, right? 66. 66x. Mm -mm. Equal 18 minus 12 it will be no, 6x. Then by the end, x equal how many? By the end, x equal 11. Okay, 11. so this is by using LCM. In question number 16, he said, if you will try to answer the question without using LCM, which means, which means we will solve the question by distributing the, the, the fraction over the parentheses, okay? Then it will be half times four equal how many? It will be equal half x plus half times six, it will be equal three. This is third time <coughs> nine, it will be three x. And then third time 24, it will be what? It will be negative eight. Okay. Then three minus it will be three plus now three plus right. It will be three plus eight equal three uh, x minus minus two x. Then by the end we have x equal how many? x equal 11. What do you not? What do you not? Both are the same. Not the same. Yes. yes. So we have the same answer, right? So even if you will try to use LP, LCM, or if you can answer by distributing a fraction over a parentheses, so by the end, we have the same answer. Okay, so this is what question number uh, for, uh, sorry, 16 in your book page 213. Now we want to move to page 214, please. 214, question number 17. Hmm. 
question number 17. Please read it and tell me the answer. Ms. Sahar. Can... Yes, honey. 